kazooing nuts and bolts. Last time what we did was we did a couple things in the Gigasium. We whooped ass against Grunty in our little uh, soccer game. Catch upon this one so pinnacle until the day I hear the fabled siren's call. Yeah, so we can't get that quite yet. Not quite yet, but we're gonna be getting a little mumbo crate collection very going. Oh wait, no. That just drains the water. Oh no, we caused a drought. That's not good. Yeah, we can't do nothing about that right now. I thought we were that's what that did was well, yeah, well, we can't get them all. Oh, that just turned my floating floater off when I want it on. Okay, yeah, last time with those stupid cops, I got my vehicle trapped underneath that gear. I never even knew that was possible. I never even knew it was possible to get um, your uh, trolley stuck underneath that. But <laughs> you definitely can. Okay, so there's another, um, one of those. I'm gonna actually take care of that real quick. Uh, okay, you are not getting after me for this mumbo crate, are you? Okay, good. It's like, I've already got enough of you assholes. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry. How could you? Everybody loves penguins, scientific fact. What is a scientific fact? Yeah, I got a small jet, another small jet, some medium ammo, and another sinker. It literally looks like a toilet. Those sinkers, they literally look like toilets. Oh no! But yeah, I'm sorry, but they, they look like toilets. Why are there so many cops around? Uh, well. Well, we banned you on this it. I'm not cut out for prison time. We'll fret not, I'll let you out. Well, hey, freedom! Take me home, Banjo! My house is the same color as me, but I'm too stiff to walk there, so I need a ride! Don't take out gay and out of here, I'm back in jail! Oh, that's probably the easiest one. What's that? A jailbreak? Ginger prisoner on the run? Keep your eyes peeled, you good for nothing but you lay him out! Wait, what? Oh, it filled back up. Okay, I'm like, what? Nah, uh, yeah, this one's easy. Just gotta, ah, get out of the way. I have a prisoner. Escorting, um, escorting home. Ginger, come sweet home. The lock can't touch me now. The happening will you accept the small donation your vehicle parts from Banjo? An empty cell. That's just Danny. This is your fault, punk. Better find me a replacement prisoner. So, well, I do not know where any of the replacement prisoners are. It's like, I think I may hear them laughing. But, um... My god, get out of the way! My god, why is everyone, like, congregating back here, right where I am? Oh my god, you are so tiny- <gasps> Oh! Oh, you bastard! There you are! There's a Minjo!
<laughs> ah, a new prisoner, I gotta admit. That was decent police work. This is an attempt rec rec recompense. You deserve joining you consider joining the force? No, no, not really. But oh man, I found him fast. Holy shit. Uh, I found one of them. There's that asshole. Uh, how do I get... Oh, man. I probably gotta do, like, a really strategic jump from my trolley in order to get over there. I think is how I gotta do that. That's... I'm a pain in the ass. I would say so myself. Oh, my God. What is going on with the controls? Okay, now I can go through here. Um, I got two different ways to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the right. What? Oh, it's just another way in here. A little stop and swap. Right there, and I got another way. Can I even fit in there with this? I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I can't fit in there. I gotta walk in there. I gotta walk in there. Oh, three jiggies. You found a jiggy tamper switch. It is def helpfully massaged your jiggy score in effective giving you a free jiggy. I knew I should have deactivated those things. Still, point for effort. Oh, well, shut up. I found it fair and square. You're just salty that I did. But yeah, typically, I think those things are like really well hidden. In like a spot like that. Well, the other one was like way on the top of the tower. Okay, uh, okay, now I think I want to go this way. Yeah. Deactivate that gate there. And get ourselves a member crate. Um, uh, oh my god, like, apparently I don't know my sense of direction around this place. Um, okay, excuse me, okay, you got, okay, good, it's like, you ran into me, so, uh, I better not count if you ran into you, I'll tell you what. Getting over her, about over halfway done with the grenade. Ah, uh, more grenade go, ooh, we got spoiler, more headlights, oh, and a rust bin. Whatever the hell that's for. Um, okay, so, anywho, now what we need to do is we got this, um, tower up here, and I think I have to make a very strategic Yep, that's exactly what I have to do, and then who do I have to talk to this time? Arr, this trap door be locked down. Find old Blubber around town and he might be able to help out. Oh, okay, so. Gotta find wherever you are. And, uh, I think. Well, knowing you, I think you'd be somewhere around the boats. Oh, no, wait, I think I know where you are. I think you're by Klungo. Um. No, 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 wait, no, I remember where you are. Good lord. I remember where you are. You're over by, um, you're over that way. I'm just trying to think. It's like, uh, I gotta remember where you are. Eh, I remember now. Oh, God. Um, oh, Jesus. Can I not go up this? 
Yes, I can. Okay, I just don't know what the hell is going on there. Comet. If I remember right, you are. I think you're like up. Oh, I gotta remember what saucer was. A saucer apparel. If I remember. There you are. Oh my god, look at all those music notes down there. Oh, get out of the way! I'm trying to talk to Captain Blubber here. Arr, me hearties. Oh, poor Captain Blubber crashes you up over for the last game, and now he be doubloon this. See yeah. you later. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Ugh, she scared the shit out of me. Whew. Help an old sea dog get back on his feet by a trapdoor. Car combination. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you, Candy. Here we the trapdoor power. Tower three cabinet chain. Five three eight five. Okay. So five three eight. Okay, I got a whole bunch of notes. Good lord, can I just control this thing? Obviously not. Okay, well I think most of those are in like kind of a straight line. Oh my god, turn, 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 turn. Thank you. Oh my god, I am like just going right around him. Okay, there we go. So I think it was five, three, eight, five. Well, I think it'll tell me once I get there. It's what it's done for the other ones. Uh, well, let's see if there's any notes. Okay. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, and there's a mumbo crater over here. Good lord, man. I just. Oh, I suck at driving. Okay, so I found the mumbo crate. Get our collection going there. Found four of them. No, I think I found three of them. Well, the one of them I couldn't get because. Mm, excuse me, because it was behind my gate. This thing goes so slow. Oh, God. Oh, get out of the way. Ah. Oh, my God, why? Oh, my God, why is there so many people around here? Okay, well, let's see what this is. Uh, a sail and some floaters. Okay. Thank god. Surprised this- well, I mean, I guess it is actually making my Xbox lag a little bit. Uh, then again, this Xbox is pretty old. Uh, it's not the oldest model. Um, uh, I know the oldest model has, um, like a silver plate. Like, where the disc tray comes out- comes in and out. Uh, that's the oldest model. Uh, mine has a white tray, which I think- I think the silver tray looks cooler. I wish I had that model. Uh, my cousin Sarah had that. Or I don't know if she still has it or not. I don't think she does. Arr, y'all be needing the combination. It'd be 5385.
the safe house is open. The police are coming. I'll just stand here innocently. Coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just go right on ahead and do that. Um. Anywho. Uh. Out of the way. Why do we need those? Yeah, we got more bumpers. Welder's breath and a welder from Tui. Um, okay, what do I want to do next? Oh, I think that's probably about everything there is for me to do right now. And uh, should I? I know I could climb the buildings where. Uh, uh, do I want to do that? Uh, I guess I will. I'll go take care of that real quick. I know I'm I'm definitely not going to be able to get to uh, the next level at the rate I'm going. But, I mean, that's fine. I, I don't think I'm ready for that place anyways. To be fair. <laughs> like, oh man, that level is hard. And, and I don't remember it exactly. Uh, I don't remember it very well either. I, oh my god, I land right on Casino. Damn, it's the Jinjo Bingo Hall. Oh, that's definitely probably my favorite, you know, game that you would play in a casino. Or whatever is Bingo, which that reminds me, I got like a bunch of scratch tickets. It's like the first time I bought, well, actually, whoa. That was kind of cool. Oh no! Oh, well that, that wasn't cool though. But, uh, it was my first time, you know, buying scratch tickets, you know, in a while. Well, actually, I bought uh, two scratch tickets, like, last week while I was waiting for food. Because I was, I went in there, uh, into the gas station by Little Caesars, seeing if they had any Raynex, because, um... My windshield wipers on my car currently do not function, and I was thinking maybe if they had, you know, like some rain eggs, maybe they would, um, you know, it would help a bit, but, uh, I, they didn't have any, so, but I saw the scratch ticket, so I just, you know, went, how could you, everybody loves penguins, scientific fact. But I saw the uh, the scratch tickets and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll buy some scratch tickets while I'm here, since I see them taunting me. Uh, oh, can I not even get up there? I might not even be able to get up there, for all I know. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. Uh, at least not right now. Anyway, oh my god, what am I running over? I thought there was like a pole or something that you climb. Or, is that it right there? No, I thought that was a pole that you had to climb. I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I bet you anything. Probably where I gotta go is behind this. No, let's just, uh... Shoot. Ow. Oh my god, man. 
Oh, that poor Jinjo. I, I'm so sorry, man. And I know that's the last one I need to free. And I can't. I don't think I can get up there right now. Okay, well, I totally just wasted my time. Oh, well, the warp point's right there, so I might as well use these. It's... Yeah, might as well use them since they're here. God. No, okay, I am not running into you. No freaking way, man. Wait, what? Another grunty fight? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'll be able to get it after... Uh, alright, well, what you got to show me, Grunty? Is it a race? Nine Ball Nightmare. Nine Ball is my latest game. Grunty the Hustler, that's the name. Oh, well, is it now? My new weapon's rather glorious. I'll smash you balls <laughs> and be victorious. Oh. Ooh, I don't like this. Okay. Round one of nine. No, get back here. know what to do now okay I gotta protect a certain oh my god I am so stupid get away from me Oh my god, that cow just went flying it. It's a really realistic cow. No! I need to protect this at all costs. Don't spoil my fun, you fairy clown. You set them up, I'll knock them down. This one. Oh God, no, don't bounce. No, get back here, get in here. Oh God. Now, come on, come clean. Don't interfere with my machine. I'm not cheating. I'm just playing. Just defending the balls, just like you said. Oh, man. You're be kidding me. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Destroy my machine. 
Oh no, get back here. Ooh. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh no. Get Thanks for nothing, stubborn fool. You're undermining my new tool. Okay, it automatically puts it back together. Okay, please. Oh no. You're heading right toward the number four. Oh no, get back here! fact that this place is not flat. No! Oh god. The fact that this place is not flat is making this a little... These laser blasts are meant to break you. It's going wrong. I really hate you. Where's the next ball? Oh my god, it's way up there. Oh no, okay, that one might get me. Especially since it's so far. Getting it away from you. Ah! Don't spoil my fun, you furry clown. You set it up and knock him down. God. Okay, where's the next ball? Oh, behind me. Oh god. Oh god. No! You are not destroying my balls! <laughs> oh, I can't fit through that. Oh wait, never mind. Yes, I can. Okay, I, I didn't think I could. No, 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 no! Oh no! Oh crap. What? No! No, 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 no! Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, it'll get, it'll get put back together the next time. You're cheating now! Come on! Come clean! Don't interfere with my machine! I'm cheating, huh? Okay, the next one's right there. No! Stop batting this thing around. Okay. Thanks for nothing, stammered fool. You're undermining. Okay, you're saying the same shit over and over again. Okay, well, I got the trophy, so. Okay, where? Oh, oh god, okay, what did I just lose? Oh, the eight ball, huh? This is actually one of my favorite games to play with my, my grandpa Brad before he passed. Well, actually, before he pulled the knife out of the grandma. I, I don't know if I really want to talk about that too much. But... That would be one of mine and his favorite games to play. But I, it's been a long time since I played pool, so I 
kind of like forgot the rules. You're cheating now. Come on, come clean. Don't interfere with my machine. And the last one's right there. Oh no, okay. <laughs> but this, that made this really easy. I don't know if I was supposed to do it this way, but the way I did it, dude, man, I just got a perfect score. Yeah! Nine ball is my latest claim. Gretchen the Hustler, that's the name. Well, you, you lost big time. I got a perfect score. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Yeah. But yeah, I got a perfect score right there. You took me out without missing a trick, you scrappy old bear. You make me sick. Much dangerous. Old button, bright light, cut through bad guys like a knife through butter. Must have plenty ammo. Mmm. I know you're not a fan of mine, but this behavior's out of line. As you just shot a laser at me, you're telling me that me hitting you with a wrench is out of line after what you just did to me? Okay, well, there's two Jinjos here. Um, well, one of them. Oh, I think I. I think one of them. No, there's actually, I think, three Jinjos here. I was starting to think people were avoiding me. Maybe all they all fear the Jinjo Smackdown. But you, Fuzzball. Fuzzball. Aren't Jinjos made of fur, too? First one to go over the edge is the world's biggest loser. That one. Oh, oh no! Oh, ooh, oh, oh no! Oh god! Okay, how how did, is this even working? Where he'll just. Oh no! I'm the world's biggest loser! Ah, oh, Daddy! World's biggest winner tries over the world's biggest loser! Ginger Smackdown shocking all! Okay, let's try this again. I got this. I just gotta. Oh my god, that did not go the way I intended it to. That works. <laughs> that works. What? I'm the world's biggest loser? That kind of sucks. Here, Fuzzball, I'll take your winning. I sure will. Yeah. Let me do what we're gonna do is find our. Now oh, we got our next. Ginger. Uh, you're gonna be up at number one up here. Ooh! What? What? Oh no! Now I can't get up there. Ah. Hey, let's try that again. Now this time, let's be successful with getting up there. I was just about to head to home. I'm bored of being a sports spectator. Now you here? How to speed me? Not a speed game. 
Max salary is an indicator to be new win. Ready? Hit it. Yeah, well, I already know just the vehicle. This is probably my fastest. Oh no, okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I need to I need something faster. Okay, so probably what I need to do is uh Feel free. Oh, we got a sale. Uh, Thirty seven. Okay, that should be fast enough. Ginger token for you, lightning strike. Ginger. Yeah. Okay, so how are we in terms of our 11 out of 16? Okay, so we just finished Act 5. Hey, isn't there one more Jinjo here? Yeah, there is. Okay, so... <clears throat> Ginger hurling. I've been trying all day and it's impossible to throw myself any reasonable distance without help. Is that why you're here? That it sure is. Man, I set a target distance and a pretty ambitious one too. Can you throw me that far? Yeah, I just gotta get the you know, with the springs in the front here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Oh, we got this. Oh, whoa, you got a new tunnel there. 434? I'll take it. Well, hey, clearly this isn't the first time you've heard of Jinjo. Yeah, whoa, hey. Jinjo. Whoa, hey. Freaking Boggy. I totally got that from Boggy and our Bander because he was the original because that's what he would say. Whoa, hey. During the sled race with him. Alright, now. Here's where things start to get fun. Uh, traveling in Showdown Town. So, you beat the witch despite her getting her hands on a laser. I hope you'll make better use of it than she did. I've upgraded your trolley and added the laser to the garage stock. Use it discreetly and wisely. Discreetly and wisely. <laughs> Me. Be discreet and wise with this thing. You're fine. First thing I'm gonna use. <laughs> oh, get off me, you stupid light post. Get out of here. Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit you. And this is where the cops, oh man, they really get after you. For, uh, and I want to show you that real quick. Oh no! Yeah. 
Law broken! Discharging a firearm! Oh yeah, and you have unlimited ammo in the showdown town. But yeah, it literally, it makes this so much fun to, to get after the cops, because now you have a weapon to just easily take them out, like so. Yeah, you gave me a weapon and expected me to use this discreetly and wisely? You're funny, Boggy. Er, Boggy? Log? Oh my god, I'm getting all the characters confused and everything. Ah! Uh, oh my god, there was one following me. Get out of here, all of you. Oh, I forgot to bank the jiggy. Okay, well this will make this miles easier to get rid of the cops. When you're smuggling drugs. Oh my god, please do not take any advice that I'm giving you. Let's make 67 there. And please, for the love of God, do not take any advice that I'm giving you. Don't be shooting the cops with lasers, that's probably a bad idea. And you'd probably get a life sentence. Even in a state where the laws are as lenient as they are, like Washington, where literally the laws for anything is very, very lenient compared to some other states like Texas and stuff. Like, literally, you can openly use drugs in public in Washington and Oregon and Cali. So basically the entire West Coast. Like, if you want to be, you know, a lawless uh, thug, basically, uh, <laughs> the West Coast is the place to be because of the fact that, um, you know, there's, you know, a lot of, you know, very lenient laws around here, especially regarding drug use. Um, but, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it regardless, because, uh, I don't think you want to be involved in a court case or anything, that probably wouldn't be good. Um, I think now you can get rid of... Oh god, that is kind of a sure light, if I would say so myself. Yeah, now you can get rid of some of these fences here. My god, what is with me in getting these light posts? Oh my god, I know it's a scientific fact that everyone loves penguins. You don't need to tell me this over and over. Ah, small jet or grenade turret. And another two more fully propellers. Get out of here! No one asks you anything. Um, I think. I know there's, um... Oh, good god, they're all... Ooh! Get out of here! You two! Oh, you out of here! I'm gonna cause all the lawlessness possible in this city. But yeah, that's basically what they were saying, you know, in a documentary. Well, it's it's not the Seattle is Dying documentary. It's a sequel to it. I, I can't remember the title to it. 
But uh, definitely the most popular one is uh, the Seattle is Dying one. I've never seen that one. I've only seen the sequel to it, which um, is, was made the year after the uh, Seattle is Dying uh, no, no, no. The Seattle is dying. Um, documentary. So yeah, that's basically the only one I've seen is the sequel. It's really good, and uh, it, you know, it definitely, you know, oh, it tackles, you know, some of the serious issues that are going on in uh, Seattle, and I think it also talks about uh, San Francisco. Oh my god, that is a headache and a half right there. But, but yeah, that talks about you know, the lawlessness, a lot of the homelessness issue that's going on in uh, Seattle and San Francisco a little bit, too, because San Francisco has, you know, it pretty much has the, the same issues as uh, Seattle is. But then again, it's not just exclusive to Seattle and... Um, you know, San Francisco, you know, other places are dealing with it too, like New York, Philadelphia, you know, pretty much every single, you know, big city in America is dealing with this issue. And contrary to popular belief, you know, where, you know, there's all these, you know, the Republicans that, you know, they're saying, oh, this doesn't happen in the non-liberal city. Whoa, what the hell? This doesn't happen in the non-liberal cities. This only happens in liberal utopia. And I'm like, oh, that is not necessarily true because um, there's, you know, there's Phoenix. I've seen, you know, Phoenix. They have a similar issue. What, the, what they do is they, you know, they kind of ship their homeless to other states is why they don't have it, you know, as prevalent as, you know, places like Washington or, or the entire West Coast, basically. So basically, they just ship their homeless to, you know, other states and make it their problem, which, you know, I think is the completely wrong way to go about it. You know, basically, that's like, basically kicking the can is essentially what it is, you know, just kicking the can and making it somebody else's issue, which, you know, it's like, I know there's, you know, people that don't want to deal with it, but, but, you know, it's like, it's prevalent and it's here to stay, as unfortunate as it is, until, you know, the government decides to step up or, and, you know, put an end to all this price gouging with the housing in, in the country, you know? It's just the, the pricing of housing is outrageous, and it's not really much of a wonder why, you know, you know, people are homeless because of the cost of housing. Um, and not just, you know, in, you know, areas like Seattle, which, I mean, the price of housing around here is absolutely insane, and rent around here is insane. Like, um, you're basically having to pay, like, what, 1300 a month for a two-bedroom apartment here, and you gotta make basically double that? Whoa. So, yeah, it's like, you basically gotta make double that, and you also can't make it by yourself. Um... You have to have, you know, a roommate in order to uh, survive, basically. And even then, you just barely be surviving. Um, you know, you just be living paycheck to paycheck, basically. And I just don't feel like that's right. 
And, you know, it's like, I'm lucky that right now I'm living with my parents and they're letting me. And they're, the only reason they're letting me is because, you know, the, the pricing of housing is just absolutely insane right now. Uh, I got two more large propellers. I got a large box and then a large engine. But yeah, that's basically the reason why. Is because you know they know they they know it. There's no way I'd be able to be able to make it out there. You know, especially with the income I'm getting. You know, I'm basically making you know probably about two dollars above minimum wage, which you know a minimum wage is like fifteen something an hour, I think. And I'm making like 17 something right now. And that's just not enough for um, me to live, you know, by myself. Unless, you know, I, you know, get really lucky and end up, you know, finding somewhere for 200 a month. And even then, it probably wouldn't, you know, have plumbing or heat or AC or any of that. And. You know, it's just, oh, it's just not right the way, um, the way things are just going right now. And, you know, not only that, you got, you know, basically your lovely inflation where, you know, the cost of, you know, not just housing, but, you know, pretty much everything is gone up. Price of groceries, um, you know, souvenirs, gas, you name it everything has gone up and oh let me tell you the amount of people that piss and moan at me for you know you know the gas price is rising like i can do anything about it it's like um, i'm sorry there's really not shit i can do about it except you know just do my job and i'll you know, just hope that um, nobody, you know, will end up trying to assault me for telling the truth about, you know, why the gas prices are high the way they are. And, and the reason why is got to do with supply and demand. And there's also, you know, the difference between the summer blend and the winter blend. Right now we're using the summer blend, which, you know, is more expensive than the um, winter blend. Um, so yeah, that's basically the main difference there. So that's why you know, you know, the winter blend is cheaper than the summer blend. So physically assaulting a rhino, really? That's your plan? Maybe it is my plan, but yeah, it's just that's the main reason why you know people want to you know point to. To Biden, you know, being the sole reason for the prices of everything, you know, going up. When that's not necessarily true, I'm not. Let me get let me get this straight. Um, I'm not 100% I mean, defending the guy. He has to be quite honest with you. Um, I think they should have somebody, you know, much younger in the White House. And Trump is definitely not the answer because Trump is just as old as as uh, Biden is, and you know, let me tell you, it's just uh, I don't know, man. It's just we need somebody that probably like around Obama's age, like in his fifties or something. Like I feel like that that would be more reasonable, you know, someone you know more in tune with, you know, the times that we're living in, rather than, you know, somebody that was raised in the 1940s running the country, you know, it's just, you know, things weren't the same now, then as they are now, um, and, you know, that's just something I don't feel like either, uh, Trump or Biden understand but you know what I'm just not even gonna get into it I'm trying not to get you know insanely political or anything but it just kind of ended up that way um, and I'm just like Ugh. I just I don't like either one to be honest with you it's just like I'd rather you know like I said I'd rather have somebody you know be much younger be in office than somebody that's 80 basically which both 
um, Trump and Biden are pretty damn close to 80. So, um, it's like basically just a bunch of, yeah, just two crusty old men fighting is basically the way I see it. Um, but what crusty old man is worse than the other is basically <laughs> the fight that it is. Like, who's worse than the other? And it's just like, they constantly, you know, they... They kind of pick battles with each other, and it's just like, oh my god, it's just so pathetic. Like, it really is. But, um... I don't know, man. I'm just... This is just my opinion, and if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You don't have to. But, you know, that's just my um, opinion on the whole thing there. But, um, anywho. Um, enough about politics. I don't even know why I got on that tangent. But, um, I did. Yeah, I got two spotlights. So I, I don't know why I got on that tangent, but I did. Um... So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna wrap that up there. So anyways, uh, that'll be it for this stream. Uh, next time, what we're gonna do is um, we are going to be starting the new level. But no, 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 oh my god. We're gonna be starting the new level. And that is called the Terrarium of Terror. And, um, yep, that's what we're going to be doing next time, starting that level. And, um, yeah, basically just doing that, and, yeah, that's pretty much it there. Anywho, uh, I will 